All right, so here we've got um, Andrew's pixel pattern. And Andrew, um, what I'd like you to look at is how to write every aspect of your pattern as a step function. So for example, uh, you have a table. And I'll start this off for you. I'll help you out a little bit. Uh, we've got step number. And what you looked at, you looked at the red pixel. You looked at the green pixels, the green pixels, the total pixels, the height, and the width as a function of time. And as I requested, you wrote each of these things as a linear function. So I'm asking you now to write them as a step function. So for example, if we look at our first, let's say, uh, five steps. So let's think about what's going to happen here. Um, so first of all, the red, uh, we add, we have no red at step zero, no green, excuse me, what am I saying? We have two red, we have one green, we have three total pixels. And the height is 2, and the width is 2 on the shape here, right? The height is 2, the width is 2, there's a red, and a red, and a green. Then at step 1, you, so here's, here's step 3, or the third second. We still have, this is, I'll draw a line here. That was, at step 0, we had that. Then at step 1, we add 2 greens. And step two, second second, we add 2 reds, or second step. And third second, we add these 2 greens here. So if we look at step one uh, from step two, uh, that would be just this shape right here. And I've got the same amount of reds. I've got three greens now. I've added two greens. And I've got uh, five total pixels, but the height is three. But the width, though, the width has been added by two, right? The height's only increasing by one, but the width's increasing by two, so the width's four. Then at step two, that's here now, we add those two red pixels. So we have four red pixels. We still have the three green. And we have a total of seven pixels with the height of one, two, three, four, and the width of six. And then um, at step three, look at this full image right here. And I'm actually not gonna, I'm going to ignore step four and five. I don't think we really need that. Oops, that was not helpful. Let me just highlight this, delete it. Okay, so step three, we've got this full thing here. We still have uh, four green, but now we have also have uh, five, four red and five green. And the total number of pixels is nine, right? There's four plus four is eight plus one is nine. And the height is five and the width is eight. Okay, so we can look at each of these aspects of this graph as a linear function, and we can also look at them as step functions. So um, I think we already have the red and green pixel patterns covered uh, in terms of equations. For the red, you wrote red as a function of time um, equals the two pixels you start with, and you add two for every second. So you wrote this, two, and then for the t time, for seconds, you just took time divided it by two and round it down. And this works, right? If you plug in uh, one, one divided by two is a half. Half rounded down is one, uh, zero, excuse me. Zero times two is zero plus two gives us two red pixels. So R of two does give us two, that works, yay. R of three, let's check that. Um, sorry, R of one, gosh. R, R of one is one divided by two is a half. A half rounded down is zero. 0 times 2 is 0 plus 2 is 2. So the red at step 1 does get us 2. Your formula works. At step 2, we should get 4. Let's see. Well, if I plug in 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Rounded down or doesn't matter because we're already at a whole number. 1 times 2 plus 2 is 4. And test one more. Red at 3 equals, well, 3 divided by 2 is 1 and a half. Rounded down is 1. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 2 is still 4, right? And this equation that you wrote works. Same is true for green. The green pixels, you just wrote this. You wrote, start up at one, add two for every second, and you took second divided by two and round it up, and this should work. Let's see. If we plug in g of zero, we should get one. If I plug in zero, zero divided by two is zero, times two is zero plus one is one. It gets us one pixel, which is correct. At the first second, though, we should get three. So 1 divided by 2 is a half. A half rounded up is 1. 
1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Yay, it works. Green at 2 should still get us 3. If we plug in 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. It gives us the correct number of green pixels. And g of 3, if we plug it in, uh, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, round it up as 2, times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. It's working. But what about these three over here, total height and width? What would the step functions be for those? And that's that's what I want you to think about. Um, so I'm going to show you the total pixels, and then I'd like you to follow for height and width. So for total pixels, our linear equation is total as a function of time. We'll start off at 3, and it adds 2 for every second. So here, we can write this quickly as a step function by inserting our brackets. Like So for example, these are the floor brackets that round down. These are the ceiling brackets that round up. So um, if we just take those brackets and wrap them around our, our variable, and it can be rounded up or down, you have to decide which is appropriate. In this case, I think it's rounding down. Um, now we get the appropriate step function that describes this pattern right here. So for example, if I plug in t of 0, at 0 seconds there are 3 plus 2 times 0, there are 3 pixels. But what about t at a half? Well, at a half a step, nothing should happen. We should still be at 0. Our linear function here, the linear function, wouldn't get us 0, right? 2 times a half is 1 plus 3 is 4. It increases, right? The amount of pixels, but that's not really accurate. This step function is more accurate. Why? Well, a half rounded down is zero. Zero times two is zero, plus three is still three. It leaves us at the appropriate number of pixels for these non-integer steps because this pattern doesn't change in between, and the linear functions assume they do. So think about how to apply this to the height and the width. How can we write a step function for height and width for your pattern? Thanks.